What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. So it looks like Al Heyman caught another body. He signed Robert Guerrero, so the ghost is now an Al Heyman fighter. And what can I say? Al Heyman has a, a ever-growing stable. That's why I made this meme. It's If you guys don't get it, it's from World War Z. It's the scene where the zombies were all trying to climb up that wall. And that's what Al Heyman's roster and his stable is looking like right now. So... Robert Guerrero is just the latest in a long laundry list of fighters who have went over to the Al Heyman side. And that list includes Polly Malignaggi, Adonis Stevenson, John Molina, now Robert Guerrero. So just tons and tons of fighters being represented and advised by Al Heyman. They think it's the best idea for their career because he has a growing stable and he puts them in positions to get good fights. This is what Robert Guerrero had to say. Signing with Al Heyman was a team decision, and together we feel with no doubts that this was the best move for my trainer. Team Guerrero and Team Al Heyman are united as one, and together we are going straight to the top. Al has proven to be the most successful advisor in boxing, getting his fighters the biggest fights, and I'm thrilled to be working with him and his team. I'm hungry and I'm ready to get back in the ring. My goals are still the same, and that's to be the best fighter I can be and give the fans great performances. So coming from Robert Guerrero, the ghost. Personally, I'm from the Bay Area. He's from the Bay Area. So I like the Robert the Ghost Guerrero. Um, some fans think, like his last performance against Mayweather, that because he was outclassed, he simply didn't try it. And I think that's a popular misconception in boxing in general. Because a fighter gets outclassed or beat, you assume he doesn't try. Like, he just didn't care. And I think that's bullshit because if you know what... Guerrero means in Spanish is warrior. And I think Robert Guerrero has a lot of dog and a lot of fight in him. Motherfucker. Um, he has a lot of fight in him, a lot of dog in him. He showed that in the Berto fight. And Berto started coming on very late and was getting some work in. And he weathered that storm. He had dominated the early portion of that fight. And he did good. He came and caught Berto off guard, gave him no respect, mauled him. And... Same thing with the celtic Iden fight. That was a big puncher and avoided welterweight who was a champion at the time and undefeated at the time. And he was dealing with his wife's cancer before that off a long layoff. And he elected to jump up two weight classes to fight celtic Iden, a big puncher after a very long layoff, which could have been detrimental. It could have been a bad look. You know what I mean? You don't want to disappear for two years. You were in a lower weight division come up to weight classes and then face a big puncher you could be um a little rusty have that ring rust and whatnot so i think guerrero's a warrior and i i think the the misconception that people simply just didn't try these guys are professional athletes and if you remember the build-up to the fight mayweather was talking a gang of shit he was like he said it was gonna be easy easy to get your ass stomped easy work easy work i ain't gotta worry about it <laughs> and he was dogging him and plus Guerrero's own pops was doing a lot of talking. He's like, you guys like, he's a woman beater. He's a woman beater. You like that shit? Woman beater, baby. <laughs> so he had a lot to to prove or a lot to win, a lot at stake in the fight with Mayweather. So I don't think it's a matter of simply not trying. I think he just didn't have the skills or the tools to outthink and, and beat Mayweather, which is the case for a lot of people. And I think it's just a way for some of the fans to discredit the the fighter who won just to say, oh, the other person didn't try. Canelo didn't try. This fighter didn't try. No Nito Donaire didn't try. I don't think it's about not trying. But people are too ignorant or blind or want to make excuses because their prediction wasn't right or whatever the situation is. But as far as Guerrero, um, I like him. Like I said, he's a Bay Area native, so I got to give respect. I always try to support local talent. Um, the only downside to, to Guerrero that I've seen recently is he says he's hungry and hopefully this like lights a fire under his ass and, and creates that spark it's like he's been very inactive like he's just been lamping and chilling with his family or whatever and gilroy eating garlic off that mayweather payday yeah but i mean after the mayweather payday he really went mia and i'm not talking about miami he was just gone like I understand your nickname is the ghost, but motherfucker, you really turned to a ghost. You was Casper. Nobody heard or seen from you. You were transparent. So just because that's your name, that doesn't mean you have to literally become that. <laughs> so I don't really condone 
fighters, especially after losses, you have to get right back in there in the mix. You don't want to have consecutive losses and ring rust unless you're like a Mayweather or Pacquiao and you could just take a long layoff and come back like nothing ever left. Um, most fighters are affected by that. So I want to see him back in the ring. The other downside is the fact that it looked like he was presented with the offer from Golden Boy and they wanted him to fight Keith Thurman and Keith Thurman wanted the fight. That would be a good step up challenge for Keith Thurman, um, who's continually been stepping up. He fought Diego Chavez, which was Pauli Malignaggi's mandatory, and he was an undefeated fighter with good boxing skill, a chin, and power. And he weathered that storm, adapted, beat that test. Then he went on against a, a veteran who was off of the Andre Berto massacre, uh, Soto Caras, who looked good against Berto, and he got rocked in, in the first round, adapted, weathered that storm. So a fight with Robert Guerrero, somebody with even more experience than, you know what I mean, Diego Chavez at a, at a world-class level. You've been in there with Mayweather. Like, not many people can say that. Or, I mean, 45 people or whatever the fuck it is can say that. But that would have been a good fight to me. And I know Robert Guerrero has a chin, so I was anxiously awaiting that particular fight. And he turned it down. Like, why'd you turn it down? That would have been an awesome look. And I guess he didn't see fit. But as far as... Robert Guerrero, wish him the best of luck. And we'll see what Al Heyman cooks up for him. At one point, I did want to see Robert Guerrero versus Victor Ortiz. But I'm not too fancy of any Victor Ortiz fights right now. I think Victor Ortiz needs to start it. Start it from the bottom. Now we're here. Yeah. Like, I, think, I think he just needs to come anew. And I'm not really convinced with Victor Ortiz's hunger. And if you don't have no heart then it doesn't really amount to a hill of beans. So I'm not really fancy of, of that fight. I'm not too fond of that. Um, other matches for Guerrero, Keith Thurman, if he decides to take it, a fight with Sean Porter would be interesting, or the winner of Porter Malinaji. Um, Amir Khan, I've always wanted to see that fight. Plus, there's a little bit of background. He talks shit about Amir Khan's chin, and he said, he said something like Freddie Roach should have gave him some bubble gum to strengthen his jaw or chin or whatever, some shit. It's on Ellie Sek Sekbeck's channel, I believe. Other fights, Adrian Broner, they had some long-standing beef, and there was a confrontation around my neck of the woods in Oakland. And let's see. We'll see. We'll see what Al Heyman has cooked up for him and, and what he gets him in the mix with. Hopefully it's a good fight and it's a big fight, and Keith Thurman gets his opportunity as well as Robert Guerrero gets his opportunity to showcase what he has and what he brings to the welterweight division despite the Mayweather loss. Let me know what you guys think. Robert Guerrero signs to Al Heyman. As always, hate, comment, or subscribe. Till next video is Ego, signing off. Mm -hmm.